So what we want to do is create a new midline. Right now her center of mass is between her ischial tuberosities and we want to be able to create a new midline over top of one ischial tuberosity. So we use this for a lot of function. For example, she's going to create a new midline over the left so that she can cross her right leg over top of the left, potentially to put on a shoe, to put on a pair of pants, etc. We also might be using this to create a midline over the left to take a leg up onto the bed to go down into supine. Cortical reticulospinal system. So we are able to lose the midline to create a new midline. We're using similar muscles that we would when we're walking, creating midline over the right foot, midline over the left foot, but not exactly the same because we're sitting and not standing. Let's talk about the muscular activity that should be creating the new midline. So for example, if we're gonna take her to midline, lateral weight transfer over the right IT. Elongation through the trunk, on the ipsilateral side, reciprocal shortening on the contralateral trunk. So your reverse origin <coughs> insertion of the hip abductors on the ipsilateral side. So that's our glute need, right? Working in a reverse origin insertion to create our lateral pelvic tilt. On top of that, we should have an elongation of the ipsilateral side and reciprocal shortening on the contralateral side. What we don't want to create the movement is the contralateral trunk. She should not displace herself to the right by hip hiking and side flexing to the left. Right? The primary movement of a lateral weight transfer, lateral pelvic tilt, comes from the ipsilateral abductors of the hip and elongation through the trunk. Way, right? This is your lateral pelvic tilt, so it's a down here so that this side comes up. It's uh. not a pull up here so that side goes down.